Thanksgiving and staff members at RIT gathered to give thanks to our servicemen and women serving overseas. They donated their time and some special gifts to prepare care packages to send to them. As Sierra Putman explains, it's a thank you touching both our military men and women and their families. Our list, it twice. RIT has a list of 60 service members about to receive a special package of thanks this holiday season. One of these is for RIT senior staff assistant, Mary Barnard's son, Michael. Well, they think it's amazing. Michael is serving in Afghanistan. He and his brother, Joshua, enlisted in the Marines after studying at RIT for a year. They've both received these special thanks in the past. I just thought it was so amazing that RIT was doing this. It meant a lot to me as a mom especially having her boys away at the holiday times. Kelly Rether with the alumni office started the tradition 10 years ago. A majority of the male family members I have have served in the military and when 9-11 happened I realized just how little I had done to give back and this was just one way that I could start. Volunteers stuffed these boxes with donated treats and thank you letters. This year as well as making sure they're stocked up on treats and toiletries, they're also putting in enough DVDs and CDs into these care packages so the troops have enough entertainment for whenever they have some downtime. They need to watch movies, listen to music, you know, as if they were back home and it takes the stress level down again and then they're able to deal with another day. So with each tear of tape and packed box, RIT is making sure the troops get a taste and maybe some comfort from home. Santa Claus is coming. Sierra Putman, News 8. Those packages should ship out by tomorrow. Some of the care packages could arrive for the troops in just a few weeks.